Welcome back, everybody, for some more Chola Dynasty. It has been hard so far, but apparently this scenario is supposed to be easier. It is Conquest of the Northern Maldives. So we have Pearl of the Ocean. Since Pandya, Chera and I were defeated by the combined forces of Chola's navy and army. Less and less rivals that can compete with or even be matched to the Chola forces. But the victories and successful revenge against the adjoining are never enough to satisfy the aggressive monarch of a mighty empire with his boundless desires. Though the South India seems to be unified under the expansion of Chola army, the resistance forces still cannot be underestimated. In the boundless Indian Ocean, merchant ships from the East and Arabia come in an endless stream, slowly sailing across the sparkling South Indian coast and docked at the port that did not belong to Chola. Raja Raja realizes the neighbors convinced by the strength of Chola are now reviving and taking recovery. Raja Raja does not continue focusing on the resistance on land. He casts his eyes on the farther west of South India, a place that Dravidians, Persians, and even Arabs are all looking forward to. The island's pearls, spices, Coconuts be packed in the boxes and transported from the deck of the merchant ships. No, for the forethoughtful Tamil king, these specialties can never satisfy his ambition. Quick, gotta go watch Viper reverse sweep uh, Mr. Yo in uh, Maldives all those years ago. Okay. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Makes sense that we'd just be on little atolls. Nantaya. Okay, so destroy the Devehi uh, castle, destroy its town center, and destroy their docks. Declare victory without cannon galleons. Okay, we'll go for it. Um, we don't need houses. I have a corgi scratching at my door. <sighs> Even though I just put him in his bed, he decided to come join me anyway. Because it's like almost midnight on Monday evening. This video goes live in like seven hours, theoretically. Um, so we have shipwright. What will be an issue? Uh, there are a few islands with trees. M make a cost-efficient navy. Well, it makes them theorisati, I guess. Fish are plentiful and uh, trading with... Uh, um, the Arabs can give us gold. Theorisati and galleys. Uh, and no gunpowder in the 11th century. Um, is to the far northwest. Okay. And they are Malay and Dravidians and Saracens. All right, so I guess it makes sense that we have a full naval scenario. Let's uh, send our dude scouting. And make lots of fishy fish. It's gonna be tricky to do this without cannon galleons, though. Hey, 
Just see what's going on. You can always transport villas over to that island for some wood. The extra carry capacity for our fishing ships is going to be pretty helpful. We have to fight these invaders quickly. We must not lose any territory to these cameras and show them our strength. Gotta show them our moves. What? Anyway, we can click up in just a moment. Looks like the red Devehi... Devehis... ...are the strongest. Oh, we're gonna need another building... I wonder if there's going to be any relics around. That could be potentially helpful. Just click up after that villager, I suppose. Yeah, I have shipwright already, which is nice. Oh. But yeah, I suppose Therasadai are going to be our, like, you know, best... Tanky, strong unit. So we're going to get to Imperial Age, get our relevant imp upgrades. Just slowly transition to fish traps, so we don't have to do it all at once. Although I probably won't need that many. I guess I could make another TC over here, but like, <laughs> we really don't have that much space. Let's, I guess. Alright, so they're still only in the castle age.
But yeah, they said to the far northwest or whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, this thing. Galleon and Theresadi fire an additional projectile. Oh my god, I want this. And the Theresadi reduce the armor of units that they attack. Oh, we want this, baby. See if you can find those Arab merchants. Oh yeah, our ships are strong. So then welcome to our trade spot. We are pleased to make deals with anyone. As so long as they're not to double deals, am I right? Let's go ahead and get the caravan. Okay, Red Devayes have gotten to the Imperial Age. Let's keep going. Oh, can you not reach over there? Something in Chinese. I, alas, cannot understand it. Okay, yellow Devehis have gotten to M. 124 gold per trip. Not half bad. Stop trading with the bad guys. Only trade with the good guys. It's like what the, uh, the both the Allies and the Axis said to the, uh, the Swiss and the Swedes during World War II. Don't trade with the bad guys. Clowns are going down. Whoa! Elephant units and ships move 5% faster? That's definitely some campaign bonus that I have 100% forgotten about. matters. Move faster, my shippers. Oh, it's a tile of gold. Poggers. I mean, technically we can transport to these random little islands. Gimme, give gimme give Pearl, uh, what is it? Pearl Fisherman. Oh yeah.
make some galleons so they fire two projectiles. It should be like a pretty cheap option to get our population count up because we kind of need that. Yeah. How can these diverse canoes can resist Roger's fleet's domination? Who knows, man? These guys are goofballs. So yeah, no cannon galleons for us. We'll go over here. I mean, we'll we could we'll just buy wood eventually. Let's get guilds. Look how fast we go! We're like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, take down that armor. Yeah, I can't say that this scenario is very hard, but it is very fun. Oh yeah, there we go, firing five projectiles. It doesn't say anything about the, the galleons. Oh my god, look at our glorious fleet. Oh yeah, there's the town center. All right, you guys start working your way down there. Oh, look at us go! Why are you guys all idle? There's like tons of fish. That'll learn them. Let us see how these divers fight against our invisible fleets without their own fortification. I don't care that the Thirasada is a made up ship. It's so fun to just look, look at this. Look at this man. <laughs> Our glorious fleet. Oh my goodness, this TC stands no chance. It's just a feudal age town center. Oh my god, that sound! Oh my god. Okay, not hard, but a fun power trip mission. Roger would be greatly pleased while he hears the news of victory over Divis. Alrighty, let's go to the outro. Sailing from the Lakshad Wave Islands to the North Maldives. The giant sailboats whips up the sea waves, breaking the peace of the archipelago in the pass. Chola's navy did not seem to have received much resistance on this sea. 
While the flags are standing on each conquered island, no doubt that the owner of this ocean had been changed. Although this archipelago does not belong to the Tamils, Rajaraja had successfully proven the dominance of Chola Empire of the Ocean, and others could not help but recognize his achievements. Well, I guess that was uh, our little mid-campaign break scenario. Pretty nice, KD. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Don't think I missed much on the map. I can kind of see how we're with, working with the Maldives here. There were some relics scattered around here and there, but... Yeah. We had our trade going. The Devehis were in the Imperial Age, but... We just had an enormous fleet. And we had the Thirasadai. It's another relic, but you don't really need them. And we even did it without cannon galleons. Without the Ganon Kallions. Alrighty, guys. That's going to be it for the Pearl of the Ocean. Next up is going to be the Tamil Raja. See you guys next time for that one.